All right, we are back. Hey, today's video, I want to go over a nice little language learning tool I came across uh, for basically learning any language. Uh, it's called Language Reactor. What is it? It is an extension. It goes into your Chrome browser. Uh, Brave browser, I think they're going to have Firefox and Edge coming soon. What is this thing? It is a powerful toolbox for learning languages. It helps you to discover, understand, and learn from native materials. Uh, basically, studying will become more effective, interesting, and enjoyable. It was formerly called Language Learning with Netflix. It is pretty interesting. For me, as a hobby, I decided to start learning French. I don't know why. I have some people that speak French, I know. And I thought it'd be interesting to see if I can actually educate myself and speak the language. Uh, for me, this is one of the tools in the toolbox. There are many different ways to acquire languages. People learn differently, and you got to find out what your goals are, and you got to keep your motivation because you're going to be frustrated in picking up a language. And it doesn't come overnight. It does not come overnight. How did you learn your native language? You learned it by growing up and immersing yourself in it. You grew up and listened and listened and listened. So uh, that's where I come across all this stuff is I had Spanish, years and years of Spanish in high school and college. Never could speak it. Never could speak Spanish. Why? Because they taught you grammar. They taught you the grammar Spanish. They didn't teach you the spoken Spanish. So when someone talks to you in Spanish, you have to form something in your head. It's just not there. You can do grammar Spanish, but spoken Spanish is different than grammar Spanish. It's like French. Written French is completely different than spoken French. It's just almost two different things. So there's a thing I came across too. As I went into this, I discovered that I need to find the right way to learn. So instead of just starting learning the language, which I did, I started to pick up some words, grammar, played around with some of the Duolingo crap, you know, just to get the basics right. That's another little small tool in the arsenal, very small tool, uh, just to get you familiar with words and that. And as, as is with this plugin too, I'll show you in a minute. But I learned that there's a thing called comprehensible input. Getting input, listening, as if you were a baby again, acquiring the language, letting your brain get used to the words, hearing the words, hearing uh, the pattern, all that stuff, picking it up through comprehensible input. The secret word there is comprehensible. Some people say just listen to language, but I think you can start picking up patterns. You're not going to understand some of the words, if any, right? But I think if you pick a subject or a book or something, you know already, and then you hear it in the, your target language, it's going to help because you're comp comprehending what he's talking or what they're talking about. So you can kind of start forming a picture and get the gist of what they're saying, right? That's the idea. You're understanding the content, uh, but you're trying to now listen to the words, pick up the patterns, and just let it soak into your little brain. Anyway, one of the tools is, uh, for me, is this little language reactor. It's kind of cool. It's just a little extension plugin for, like I said, your Chrome browser. You install it, no big deal. And what does that allow you to do? It allows you to play Netflix videos or YouTube videos uh, that you can then show the uh, translation at the bottom and shows your native language as well and shows your target language translated. And on the right, it shows the subtitles over here. You can click on it and get the translations as well. Anyway, enough about showing their site. Let's just get into it. It's kind of useful. Like uh, one thing I found helpful for comprehensible input and just immersing yourself in the language with the spoken French, especially it goes quick. They speak quick, man. It's, it's amazing. And they run everything together sometimes or like a J sweet becomes sweet. It's like, what? Wait, where did that come from? See written it's J E S U I S boom and spoken. It's sweet. Uh, I think it's like a C H U I S sweet. It's just abbreviated, you know, they have their own thing. And like, if you say, je ne sais pas, they just say, je pas. Uh, <laughs> they take out the nen. Then the, so the written versus spoken is way different. Running stuff together with liaisons and that, it all becomes very interesting because you got to start listening to the native speakers to pick that up. And that's where I'm at. I'm a baby at all this stuff yet, but I'm just thought I put out there some of the little tools that have been helping me. The language reactor, it's free, download it. Put it in your plugin uh, as an extension in your browser. And I am on Netflix over here. I'll give you a little gist here. This show is Call My Agent. It's a French 
series. It's it's not bad. It's it's kind of it's not a bad show at all. <laughs> I'm on my second one. I go, first one caught me right away. Like uh, when I started watching Lupin, which is another French series. It took me a couple episodes, like four, I don't know, two to three to get into it. I'm like, what am I watching? This is kind of like cool. It's like a talent agency with actors and stuff. And you kind of got the idea about that already. And, but then you start playing the subtitles at the bottom. You can do it on your browser and on your TV. I just look at the French subtitles. And uh, that was interesting last night, just trying to keep up. The problem with doing it right on Netflix on a TV with closed captioning on mine it wouldn't keep the subtitle it was up long enough, go quick, and it was hard to keep up. So with this on the browser, I like that I can uh, pause it, kind of digest stuff I don't get. And I was watching last night on the TV, I noticed a lot of the same patterns of words kept popping up, kept popping up. It seems you start getting these 2080 rule, right? Like, uh, like uh, I don't know, most of the words are used, like small set of the words are used 80% of the time. 20% of the words are used 80% of the time, right? You know what I mean? And it seems I noticed patterns, patterns, patterns. Very rarely, and maybe an off, one off word. It's like, what's that word? But in general, it's like, oh, oh, okay, got it, got it. And if you look at your, your own daily use of your own native language, how many different words do you really say a day? You know, you're getting the idea across. And then with this, you kind of can see if you start picking up most of the words, you can kind of get the other words you don't get because the other ones help give you the content of what that other word may be. So that's the idea. You start training your little brain and it's it's amazing how it starts working even with songs there's a good little song if you like french i think dua lipa is like three years old now fever and in the uh part angeli whatever she's a is she a danish belgian Dan, a belgian singer she puts in the french part so it's lipa doing english and then uh the uh, angeli whatever her name is does the french part and that's a good little thing to go and do the lyrics on youtube with the song and you just get some cool uh, you got the music, and then you got the trans, you know, the uh, the um, the French, and then you can uh, go through an exercise to put that into Google Translate, and just start memorizing that. You get the not memorize, but get the gist of the words, how they go together. Oh, it's it's a good little exercise there. But this language reactor thing is a good little exercise. Again, lots of little tools. There's not one shoe fits all, and everybody learns differently, right? And language is amazing. It's it's complicated because language is culture. So it helps you understand the culture by watching the shows as well. And it is amazing how fast they speak. To me, it's fast and it's sort of quiet. So you got to really listen how the words are running together. And with Language Reactor, they get as close as they can to the actual words said by the actors. Some uh, closed captions in that don't really are 100% accurate. So you're going to wait. What did they say? That's not what's on the thing. So you're not getting a one to one. So I found this is really close to matching what's uh, what's being spoken on the uh, TV show. Again, one of the better ways to learn is maybe watch multiple the, the same episode mul multiple times. First time through, I'm doing it with uh, uh, French subtitles with the English. Uh, let it rip through. It's a 45 minute show. And then maybe the next time you take off the uh, English subtitles and just play the French subtitles. Boom. And then maybe if you have for a third time, to keep getting repetition of what's happening and expectation, then you just keep off all subtitles and just try to train your ear to listen to what they're saying. Cause it really, to me is difficult uh, when they're speaking it fast. Like they, this is a prime show over there. So they're not going to speak slow French for beginners. They're speaking it to native French speakers. So it's just going to be normal to them. Right. All right. So what happens here? Like I said, you got it down here. We can play this. I don't know if you'll, hear this or not but uh that's fine we won't let's just zip through it if it plays so you can pause it right and if you go over here it tells you where you're at samuel a more and then you can see uh, what it translates to as on the left, whoops, over the arrow. And uh, basically there's a translation, he, uh, he lost a dear friend. And it gives you the, actually the word, as you go over the word. So this line, this row right here, gives you the full meaning of the sentence. Then you can highlight each word 
and get the actual translation of each individual word on the top. This is really powerful. And then you can uh, star it as your favorite, blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, let's see, subtitles, words, and the stuff you saved is up here. Good way to pick stuff up. Uh, probably the best thing I think last night is go through it. Just let it rip. Watch it for as much as you want. And then the second time, go, go through it and start looking at your words. Because maybe just soak it in first is maybe what I'm thinking. Because now if I keep stopping, I'll never get through this the first time. It's 52 minutes. Uh, yeah, wow. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Like you can even mouse over here. Pattered, lose, you know. And it, every word, look at that. It's kind of kind of awesome tool. Kind of a nice little plugin. Expensive, right? Yep. Shows you the different meanings of the word. Uh, let me see if I can turn the volume on this. It's one second, stand by. I'm going to do this really quick. But I always say that and I screw it up. Let me see if I can get you the audio. This Netflix thing. Before I uh, probably get copyright. Oh, we'll see. All right. We want to do this. Output. And we want to do input from that. And good to go there. Let's see if it comes through. All right. Let's go. Un ami très cher. Je sais, Françoise, vous savez, moi aussi. Mais j'ai perdu aussi mon agent. Je comprends très bien. Et évidemment, je suis tout à fait disposée à prendre la relève. Oui, oui. Le film que je dois faire là. Jusqu'au euh... bout, le film de Gabor Ajeski Oui, oui, c'est ça. Oui, oui. jusqu'au bout, oui. oui. Euh... Je crois que je n'ai pas à faire. Je vais vous demander de l'avertir. Mais oui. c'est pas possible, le tournage oui, débute dans trois semaines. On a monté le film sur vous, Françoise. Madame Fabian oui. So you can see how fast they speak, and it's kind of not super loud. Uh, probably better with headphones to pick up every word. But you get an idea how nice this actually will come into play to actually comprehend what's going on and kind of train yourself as well. Let's see, let's go over here. I get another one. Here they're in an office meeting right here. Let's see what I get out of this. Et de stable émotionnellement. Ou peut-être de quelqu'un qui aime vraiment le cinéma. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you pick, you start picking up some, some basic stuff. You know, it's usually like, this is a common thing. You know, obviously maybe someone does, that's a common phrase, but you start noticing it just seems to be repeated, repeated, and you just build up your base. And this tool is pretty powerful in that aspect. So I think probably for me, the best exercise, listen through it once again, maybe do 20 minutes of it, right? So 52 minutes is a long time to commit. Uh, but say 20 minutes of it with the subtitles, just let it play through, rewind the 20 minutes. Next time start, you know, uh, going through each word you don't understand. And then maybe um, the final time through, you can take off the English or your native language and uh, just watch the words zip by. And then if you want to do one more time for whatever, maybe just rip off all subtitles and just see if you can pick up what they're saying. Because it's going to be your fourth time through. You know, you should have trained, it should have helped train your ear, which I think is my, uh, my project now is to go through that and probably try those four steps. I don't know, again, one little tool in the toolbox to help you pick this stuff up. Uh, other stuff I'm doing is other lots of YouTube channels, eh, a couple good ones that speak slow and are doing comprehensive input through stories, drawing. Uh, one, one guy is a Swiss guy, Luke, Lucas, Lucas. He is great. He sits down, he's doing comprehensive input for different levels, talking to you, making you understand, comprehend what he's talking about, and you slowly pick it up. And what I found, if you watch it multiple times, say with this video or with a comprehensive input, where they're doing basic stuff, you can really start finding your little brain, you know, pick things up. It's not bad. If you're just burying your head in like a Duolingo thing with grammar and words, that's just beating your head over a stick, trying to rote memorize stuff. And that really doesn't work that great. Uh, it's good just to kind of maybe pick up some words here and there. Uh, I think that's probably, let's say, 10% of my arsenal. I'd like just comprehensible input. Is it a lazy way? I don't know because I'm just soaking it up. Is that how your brain's made? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe to observe. People, are, people learn visually. We had visual learning before we had written words and stuff like that. So I think visual learning is key for your brain, even with languages. Uh, to go forth and pick all this uh, this up. Uh, everyone's different. So what else is there? Uh, reading. 
I found a basic uh, storytelling book where it's one page each and then they review the words you've gone over. And it's uh, short stories, like learning French through short, short stories. So 101 conversations to learning French and short stories. It's just like a little, uh, little um, they call it short story of a little theft that happened. And they go through all the dialogue and conversations in French. And it's kind of good. It's like, and if you're in the need of actually really wondering what this word was, and they don't have it at the end of some of the covered words, uh, with me, I'm using a iPad books. <clears throat> you can ebook, whatever. It's an ebook, right? And you can just highlight the word and then boom, Google Translate pops right up there. You uh, hold your finger on the word, boom. Hey, translation time done. Uh, lots of little ways to learn. I think listening, I'm finding for me is key. Listening, 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 and then adding some reading and even Google Translate with it. I was actually going to sit down with this show, this TV show, this French show, using the Netflix subtitles, the closed caption. And as I saw the patterns, like, un peu après, um, un peu après de quelqu'un qui a mis vraiment le cinéma. Uh, you know, like, vraiment. I was going to type that in manually to Google Translate and make sure I understood that it was really, you know, truly, really, whatever. Uh, but now with this, with the uh, language transfer plugin, it's already done for me. Uh, but sometimes it is good to go over to Google Translate as you're listening to something, type in a word, pause the video, and look at the translation. It's not, sometimes it might be a bit off for what they're, the intent, the content of the sentence is, but it gives you a general idea. And then uh, Google Translate actually does the pronunciation really well as, as well for amazingly great, a great product. We're getting, we're getting to the point where we're going to have like a Star Trek level translator one day where you just put it on your neck and it translates for you which is good and bad because it makes you dumber because you're not actually using your brain to speak it i don't know. who knows that's another story but anyway check this out actually a good show too check out the show uh i'm only like one and a half in it's actually caught my attention it's like this is a really good show maybe france is the new hollywood uh some of the stuff out of uh hollywood is crap so seeing this stuff come out of france with lupin and this show, it's like, wow, they got some stuff going on over there. So something to think about. All right, what do you think? What have you found helpful? Um, anyway, this works for any language, I think. You can go look on their, on their page and see whatever language it covers. But uh, I'm finding this very useful. All right, that's all I got. I'll keep you posted on how the progress goes. And I'm hoping within a year, you know, I want to get to six months and a year. They're saying you should know 6,000 words to help you get to a fluency be able to speak normally, uh, not normal, but be able to have some kind of basic understanding of the language and con converse with someone and then keep going. It's like anything, like a pilot, you're always learning. And like a doctor, you're always practicing. You know, it's always the thing with a language, you're always learning because it is culture. Your language is culture. That's why you don't pollute someone's uh, culture with a new language. It's language is the culture. Learn the language, assimilate, become part of the culture. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. That's my uh, little journey thus far. Uh, if you are, are doing this as well, post down below what you think or what channels you found useful. YouTube is a powerful learning tool. There's some good and bad on YouTube. Uh, you just got to find the good stuff and make yourself better. Instead of wasting time sitting in front of useless stuff, useless videos, uh, go learn something. Learn a trade. Learn, to, learn something, uh, uh, how to repair something. Learn a language. Learn how to program. Learn how to play guitar. The uh, power of YouTube is there. There's a lot of bad, a lot of bad. And there's a lot of good, whereas Twitter is all bad. <laughs> Twitter is poison, but YouTube has some benefits. Hopefully Twitter gets into videos and then we'll give a little more competition to YouTube. But we don't know what's going to happen. So far as right now, check things out. Let me know what videos you recommend, what channels, and uh, other tools as well. Do not rely heavily on the mistake I made on apps initially. Uh, Duolingo helped. And the goal with Duolingo is get through the roadmap as fast as you can. Don't re don't do all these upscale things and blah, blah, blah. And uh, try not to spend all your money, but uh, use the desktop version for doing it. Just zip through it, get some words in your system under your belt, get some basic grammar, some basic stuff to help you get understand. Why are they doing that? You know, why is, uh, why is this this way? You know, and oh, what is, oh, where? Oh, okay, where? Of, uh, key, oh, which? You know, there's different, aim. Oh, what is that verb? Okay, you know what I mean? But don't get too heavy in that. Focus on listening, listening, listening. And then uh, I think everything else will, uh, hopefully, the plan, everything, everything else will kind of 
start dovetailing together, coming together. I don't know if a light switch turns on, but uh, I think it just starts coming together. You start hearing it in your head. You start maybe speaking sentences now and then. Just on rote memorization, I don't see how it's getting you anywhere because you need to understand what you're saying. You need to just get it into your system and then, you know, oh, hey, I can say this. Oh, it just came right out. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. Other people have done it. <laughs> I'm not a total idiot, so we'll see how far I can get. All right, that's all I got. Go forth. Do great things. Abiento.